I almost broke my neck playing one on one football. I went home crying. Like me, I used to just like follow the crowd, see what's about to see what's about to go on. Following the crowd, it's a dude, like he got a gun on him too. And then you just see dudes coming from every direction. Then there's one big dude I know I went to school with. He went and he grabbed him. Everybody just came with the punching him, stumping him, stumping him in the ground. Took his gun, took his money, everything. He got up and he tried to walk away and he couldn't even walk. He fell right, right into the wall, face leaking and everything. It was traumatizing because I'm only 14 years old. You know, at middle school, I used to see a lot of stuff, but it wasn't as bad as it was when I got to high school. 2.45, 3 o'clock. They had a shootout right here in the middle of the school, in, in front of the street. Bullet holes hit the windows, stuff. But these are bulletproof windows. School went on shutdown. It was just scary because there's kids out here walking to the stove. Kids going to get something to eat. Kids just out here waiting for their parents. I've been I've been living over here since I was six. I wasn't, you know, growing up in Carroll City. It's rough. It's really rough, especially for a kid. Like if you ain't got the right people around you, peer pressure plays a big role in a lot of kids' life. You know, growing up, people ask me to join gangs, stuff like that, and I'm just like, nah, like, I was really scared of my, my grandparents. I ain't like getting in trouble, because I knew like, if I, if I join a gang, it's a possibility I'm gonna get jumped or I'm gonna die. I ain't, I wasn't trying to hide that. First job ever. I remember the first day I came to work, six in the morning, I'm out here early. My grandma like, you know, be on time to work, be on time to work. Six in the morning, I'm out here sitting out here. The lady who was supposed to come, open up, ain't even open up. I'm sitting out here for two hours, just waiting. I ain't want to go home. I'm like, all right, they gonna come, they gonna come. Then the manager came, she was like, I'm so sorry you sat out here. I'm gonna talk to the lady, she was like, she was supposed to open and she called me this morning saying she can't open. I'm literally, I don't want the McDonald's and all, sitting right there in front. All my friends used to come through here all the time, just laugh at me. I'm out here working at Taco Bell, but I was proud, it was my first job. Two people get jumped right there. I'm standing right there in a the little yellow stump, standing, seeing, watching everything. I'm standing back from a distance. I know people used to carry guns. I wasn't trying to get shot, none of that. I'm seeing a lot of stuff as a young kid. Used to kind of just sit in front of the store after school every day. Good to see you, bro. Hey, congratulations, man, on, uh, on signing with your college there, man. It's, that's, that's amazing. Keep doing your thing. Hey, if, if this year and last year is any sign of the progression you're going to make these next two years, man, you got some special things in order for you, not only these two years to come, but way down the line if you want to go pro or, you know, any other aspirations that you have, man. I expect big things from you, bro. Keep Appreciate doing your it. thing, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Thanks for being a great mentor and a great coach to me, man. Of course. Appreciate it. Of course. It. This is BC. This is where it all started. Gave me a chance, you know, to be myself. Coach Anderson helped me mature as a person and as a basketball player. I was only 18, but I had to step up. Came here. Nah, it wasn't easy to have a house to stay in the first couple months. After my freshman year, I signed to Division II school, Lynn University. You know, I, that's where I felt the most love at. I didn't really care about going Division I because, you know, first part of the season, doing great. I had one bad game this year, first game of the season. Every other game, great games. I got injured. I thought I was done playing, but wasn't had surgery. You know, it was a long road for me, you know. But now I can say I got the chance to go D1. I like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to play basketball. I want to thank Donovan. I want to thank Coach Robinson. I want to thank Coach Anderson, all my coaches at Broward. 
With that being said, I will be continuing to further my basketball and my education career at the University of Southern Mississippi. Go Golden Eagles! Yeah. <laughs>